Hey guys, today I wanted to talk about one of the more bizarre side effects of high-level spinal cord injuries, and that's spasticity. So what do I mean by spasticity? I didn't really have a good definition of it, so I tried Googling it, and this is what I came up with. Spasticity is a motor disorder characterized by a velocity-dependent increase in tonic stretch reflexes with exaggerated tendon jerks resulting from hyperexcitability of the stretch reflex as one component of the upper motor neuron syndrome. Now, I'm not a doctor, and I didn't understand very much of that, but for someone who has a spinal cord injury, the best way to explain spasticity is that these spasms are... Uh, involuntary muscle contractions anywhere that you can't feel and can't move so I get them in my hands I get them in my legs my feet my core muscles will seize up um, and they either start shaking or bouncing a little bit or contracting really hard and this can lead to some funny stories and some funny reactions from people who go oh well you know Jeff's in a wheelchair he's paralyzed below the waist and then all of a sudden my leg starts shaking right uh, a lot of times people will either think I've a been miraculously cured or b that I'm just faking it once you've seen a spasm it's easy to understand how someone would think you were faking So what's the big deal with spasms? Well, first, sometimes they can be painful, especially for people with newer injuries. Sometimes the spasms can be so strong that they'll physically pull you out of your wheelchair. The spasms can happen really at any time. So you could be driving, you could be transferring, you could be trying to sleep. So really at the very least, spasms are absolutely inconvenient. There can be some benefits to spasticity though. What do I mean by that? I use my spasms every day to grab onto things, to help keep my blood pressure up. Uh, they also help prevent atrophy and can serve as a really good warning sign that something else is going wrong in your body that you can't feel. I once burned my foot pretty badly and the first reason I had any indication that there was something going on was my leg just wouldn't stop jumping. It was jumping around, jumping around. And I was like, what the heck's going on? Grab it, pick it up, look at the bottom of my foot, find out, hey, there's a big giant burn there. So while they can be frustrating and make life a little difficult sometimes, if you can get creative, you can use the spasms to actually work for you and, and help you out in your life. There are really three ways to manage your spasticity. The first is oral medication, such as baclofen. The second is a motor or nerve block. And the third is an actual physical device called a baclofen pump that's implanted uh, underneath your skin and keeps a nominal level of baclofen in your system at all times. Depending on the severity of your spasms, you might choose one over the other. Uh, each obviously has their own pros and their own cons, but uh, obviously talk to your doctor and I'll, I'll link some interesting sources that I found online in the description below so you can check that out for yourself. Now, I've always been a big fan of using my spasticity to help me in my everyday life. I can trigger a spasm to pick something off the ground. I can trigger a spasm to help get dressed or help me transfer. So I don't currently take any baclofen or any uh, uh, management techniques. I don't, I don't do any spasm management. I just kind of will get them out when I need to get them out. I can you know, trigger them myself. So my initial advice to people who are newly injured quads is just deal with your spasms for the first few months that you're injured, figure it out, see if you can find out how to make them work for you. And of course, if you can't, then some of the management techniques make a lot of sense. Uh, try oral baclofen. Uh, if that doesn't work, maybe consider a baclofen pump. But, but first, try to see if you can make those spasms work for you. Thanks guys, if you have any tips or tricks on managing spasticity, go ahead and leave me a note in the comments.